All right, you guys. So I thought maybe somebody would be interested in seeing what I'm doing here with, well, this is cold wax medium. I don't know a lot about it, but I took a course with Wendy Brighthill and she was doing cold wax medium on acrylic paint, which is, I guess that's not a normal thing. You normally use this with oil paints. So I am um, in the course. She covered her canvas, not all of it, but some of it with the cold wax medium, cold wax medium. And it really leaves this really cool effect. So with this particular one, all of this underneath is vintage fabric. I'm doing a whole series of these. And I even put on some of these old crochet doilies. Um, but anyways, and then I did the vintage fabric and then on top I painted with acrylics. And right now you can see, if you can see, I've just started in the corner here with the cold wax. Um, this is by Gamblin cold wax medium. So I'm just putting it around and with this particular one, I'm not gonna put it on the flower and the leaves and the bird. Um, I'm gonna leave, what I've done is I've put a satin uh, top coat on this, satin varnish. And so I'm gonna leave that with a satin look. So everywhere else, I am just putting on the cold wax medium and I'm just spreading it. It's pretty thick um, that I'm spreading it on. But I will show you some of the other ones that I, I started this about a week ago, so I've done some. Kind of everything is in a different stage as I'm, you know, getting these flowers painted. I'll show you what the some of the other ones look like now. They've sat for about six days, and so the um, the wax is kind of settling, and I think it needs a, it needs a good two weeks to kind of dry. So I'm gonna let them sit for two weeks and see if they are finished. So that's what I'm doing with this one. I'm just gonna go all around and put the wax um, everywhere, everywhere where um, it's not the shiny satin that I did. And I have some little brushes here. I'll put, might need to use a little brush for some of the little small areas, but let me show you what it looks like. So this one, I just finished putting the wax on. You can see it's bright pink uh, daisies. So um, that's how much wax I put on. It's a good amount. And I'm gonna now let this sit for two weeks. And uh, let me show you another one I did. This one also has cold wax medium. And you can see this is one where it's gonna be like this where I, I didn't put the wax on the flowers and the leaves. It's the satin finish. and But everywhere else has the wax. And so you can see it dries really, it has a really cool effect. Let me show you another one. This one, um, I also did, and the entire thing was covered in cold wax medium. So you can see it does just kind of disappear, and it has this really, really cool, kind of a hazy look to it. But this has been after about six days, so it's not done yet. And I'll show you another one I did. This is the same, about six days ago I did this one. And uh, it's drying nicely. So that's, that's this one. And there was cold wax medium here and all over the place. Um, I think I even covered this in the cold wax medium. So you can see the flowers, you know, the paint does pop. And again, this is all acrylic paints that I am using. Acrylic paints and acrylic pens. Um, and it's looking really good. And these were left with the satin varnish. So I'm really happy with how this is turning out. This is my first time working with the cold wax medium. Uh, like I said, I took the course from Wendy Brighthill and it's a really, she's got some really good courses. And I thought this would be really fun, uh, a fun way to use up. I have a huge collection of vintage fabric. So this is a really good way for me to use up my um, 
collection of vintage fabric is to do this. So anyways, I will post again once these are all done drying and show you what they look like.